Hey guys, welcome to Smash It TV. I'm here at the Sydney premiere for the gift. I'm super excited. This is a mid-century modern home. This view is fantastic. The lighting is great. You like it? Yeah, do you? This is good. <laughs> I'm very happy. Excuse me, is your name Simon? Yes, sir. It is you. Hi. We went to school together. This is my wife, Robin. This is, I didn't get your name. Gordon Mosley. Uh, Gordo. Gordo? Oh my God. I'm so sorry to recognize you. It's been a very, very long time. Darren McMullen, welcome Hi. to Smash It TV. Hello, Smash It TV. How are you, Nathan? Thank you, mate. Thank you. Now, what are you expecting from the gift tonight? Um, I'm not too sure. I, I'm working with Guyton at the moment on House Husbands, and uh, he had the chance to see it and, and do um, a Q&A with Joel, and he, he couldn't talk more highly about it. He said it was phenomenal, and he didn't want to give away too much, but he said, just go watch it. Now, the movie's called The Gift. What's the weirdest gift you've ever given anybody? Um, herpes. <laughs> The gift that keeps on giving. That is a joke, by the way. I know people like to sensationalize stuff in this industry. That was a joke. Uh, what's the weirdest gift I've ever been given? I think a gym membership. Anyone that ever knows. And it was by someone that knew me quite well. I'm like, what are you saying about me here? Do I need to lose weight? I mean, because you know I don't go to the gym and I never even stepped foot in the gym before. So I felt that was quite a weird gift for me, a gym membership. Yo, Nathan. Nathan, welcome to Smash It TV. Smash It. Yeah. Now, The Gift, what can fans expect from this movie? It's a movie that resonates on a, on a kind of a level of um, what kind of a person are you, what kind of a person were you in high school and how are you now and what might you have left unfinished and undone and what if it came to tap you on the shoulder? Smiley face Gordo. How do you think he got our address? That's an expensive bottle of wine, we should thank him. I believe that the bad things in life, they can be a gift. That guy's odd. He's a little socially awkward, but I can be like that. And it's not, it's a thriller, it's, it's entertainment, but it, it kind of gives you something else to chew on in terms of those themes that hopefully, to me, I think is much more worth the journey of making a movie than just pure entertainment. It is that, but I, I think it's a little bit more kind of uh, uh, shocking to the person sitting watching the movie. There's no easy way to say this. Don't visit us anymore. Now you actually wrote, directed and yeah. starred in this. Which one did you find the hardest? I think, you know, writing a love, uh, directing and acting together I found weird. You're supposed to be, you know, over there and you're supposed to be here and you can't really be two places at one, one time with complete integrity. So I actually had my brother there, Nash, behind the camera when I was in front of the camera and that, that helped alleviate any extra anxiety but it was fine it just was a uh, something I hadn't really uh, envisaged being as tricky as it was it's not over Simon after all these years I was willing to let bygones be bygones what does that mean I do not know but it must mean something hello bygones be bygones after all these years what the hell was that? That was big. Now, Joel was just telling me that when he was on camera, you were actually the one directing him. What was that like? Oh, it's fine. I've been telling my little brother what to do my whole life. So, like, What's one of the weirdest gifts you've ever gotten off a friend or a family member or a fan even? Uh, weirdest gifts? I don't know. Like, you know, I had someone I didn't know send me lots of weird little knickknacks once. Yeah. With d indecipherable writing with it, and you know, one, I had someone send me a card once that, when I opened it, had wall-to-wall -wall writing like all on the back, and it, that kind of felt like it was coming from a crazy person when they'd use up literally every space on the card. Yeah. What was it like seeing Jason Bateman actually go from like? Because usually you see him as a like the typical funny, lovable, nice guy, yeah. going from that to possibly a bit of a psychopath in this one. Um, oh, it was great because like on set, you know, he. Uh, he was Jason Bateman, so he, yeah, you know, <laughs> so he wasn't scary in real life, you know. But. Gordo! What does bygones be bygones mean? It's over! Simon has a full file on him. You think he's been lying to you? Just tell me what happened. It's 25 years ago. I have no idea who you really are. I'm expecting thriller. I'm expecting amazing acting. And yeah, just to be to be shocked and to be uh, surprised in a good way. I love Joel Edgerton and Jason Bateman.
and all the visits when you're alone. They used to call him Gordo the Weirdo. I think he's nice and he's been very generous. What you're talking about is a one-sided friendship. You're essentially being forced into a breakup. Now, you've been in the NZ. What have you been yeah. over there for? I was over there um, shooting a music video for my single coming out and yeah, just taking a break as well before going into craziness. Yeah, starting a musical, so keeping my head in the space. Maybe I can get some inspiration from Joel. What are you hoping to expect from the movie tonight? Uh, yeah, I'd like to get scared shitless is actually what I'd really like. Uh, I've seen the trailer and uh, you know, it looks pretty it looks pretty scary, but it also looks really well crafted. Like yeah. it's an intelligent, kind of jagged edge type thriller. Oh, but this looks like much more psychological torture, which I'm really into. Simon says, new house. Simon says, beautiful wife. Simon says. What's the weirdest gift you have ever received? <laughs> Probably this interview. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the premiere of The Gift and I'll see you at the next red carpet. You think you're done with the past, but the past is not done with you.